today is <clears throat> May 20th, 2013. I can't believe we're in 2013 already. Seems like <sighs> just a little bit ago, it was 2010. <laughs> I believe that's when things uh, started really speeding up, I guess, for me. And it's funny because I'm at the point now where it's actually just, I can feel the eternal moment. Everything is just one moment. I totally feel that now. Uh, this is the Eternal Tribe Podcast with your host, Silamon. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, soon on the show, I'm going to be having Alora Snow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, she's this beautiful, wonderful, spiritual female energy and I gotta say she is really in tune with all of the vibrations and energies going on right now she is very aware of everything that is going on with the <laughs> it's hard to I don't even I can't even come up with a term to describe this because um, this movement this evolution of consciousness whatever you want to call it I mean <laughs> we're in the thick of it now um, so I'm going to be having a little snow she has a YouTube channel actually on YouTube if you want to look her up uh, I'll be hosting her pretty soon um, I'm going to be having Wesley Schroeder who I met a Tucan on the trip um, actually met him in the moment and then we went to 3DL to meet up with the rest of Eternal Tribe uh, founding members I guess you could call them um, just people with the same idea and then Eternal Tribe was the name that popped up along the trip so I mean um, I'm using it now because I believe everything you know is eternal we are eternal love is eternal everything's just you know, everything is <laughs> everything's eternal. It's eternity. And we are a tribe. A tribe of spiritual, eternal beings who want to spread awareness to the world. Hey, world, what's going on? So, um, that's where the name came from. I'm using Eternal Tribe for the podcast because this is uh, the energy that really kicked off uh everything really i mean <laughs> yeah the whole uh, experience with the energies that i traveled with i mean i'll never forget that the dude laughs because he knows how amazing it was so i'm sticking with that energy because it's you know it's going to keep going up. Um, I'll be uh, hosting a few others pretty soon. Probably have Zenora on again because I love her. I love you, Zenora, if you're listening. You're a beautiful being. Thank you for uh, being so vital in my personal ascension, for being part of my... being part of my my contract, my plan for doing this with me. I love you very much. Cashy Newell's gonna be on. I mean, airplanes coming by because we're gonna soar high. And <laughs> that plane is so low. Actually, Zanara posted on Facebook earlier about uh, the Scorpio constellation and I don't know how I never knew this but Antares is actually in the heart of Scorpio and um, the Chinese actually used uh, the symbol as a blue dragon and blue dragon has been very vital in my ascension. I actually learned a dragon call while I was in Mount Shasta. <laughs> um, and I used it when I was in Fort Bragg and actually what I did was we were on the cliffs next to the ocean 
Fort Bragg, if you haven't been there, it's in California, say about central California. Um, yeah, we were on the cliffs, and I had the dragon call in my pocket, in this pocketbook that I had. And I've grabbed all these huge stones while everyone was walking around on the top of the cliffs or down on the beach collecting stones and seashells, abalone seashells. That's beautiful stuff. <laughs> um, I grabbed these huge rocks that were on the beach. I threw them up, put them in the center, and, like made a, s a little circle with them on top of the on top of the cliff, which is super grassy. I did everything, made the uh, eye of the dragon, which is an upside down triangle that's a little elongated, but in the center, it's kind of like a peace sign mixed with a, a pyramid. Um, I made that in the center. I grabbed something to resemble a sword, had a necklace with a dragon in it from my friend Iz. Uh, I found a necklace on the ground and it, and he said that I could wear it. Ooh, do you hear that? Um, so that it could wear it. So I, I wore it for the longest time and I figured it was appropriate. So I put the dragon necklace in the center of these stones. A circle of stones and I did all the calls and rants you know and I I did the meditation and you're actually supposed to take the stick out otherwise it leaves open the portal and then um, sometimes energies that you don't normally want to come through could come through when you're not uh, watching the portal and protecting it so I left actually I left with the uh, symbol of the sword still deep into the earth and so that portal was open for about half an hour maybe an hour and um, I actually walked back took out the symbol of the sword and the necklace was actually still there <laughs> so I grabbed the necklace and brought it back to my friend mm. yep um, so the whole scorpion thing and the dragon thing it's something to <laughs> feel the energy from <laughs> I mean you can't really worry about it can you you can't worry about it that's not our place it's the sources place it's the universal place uh, things are gonna happen no matter what so I mean worrying about it isn't gonna do much um, uh, putting too much seriousness or energy into it gets distracting because the only thing that we should be w <laughs> the only thing that we are is awareness we're just being aware of our experience watching ourselves talk to people because we're not those people we're not the bodies, we're not the words, we're not the thoughts, we're not the experiences, we're aware of them because we're awareness, we're consciousness, we're conscious of things, but identifying with them I think personally would be something that we don't need to do because we're not that identity we're aware of all those things right but we are not those things um <laughs> this uh, time has been really crazy it's been really amazing last physical few days it's funny to be able to to use that like a physical th a day, a physical two days, you know. I think it's going to be something that we're going to be able to laugh about when we're around, um, you know, the high conscious people, the the ones that have actually seen past that illusion and have drawn back the veil and can experience true 
fullness of the moment, the eternal moment. Something that we're going to be able to laugh about. You know, the angels are going to be like, what? Physical full day, you know? <laughs> They're talking about this will happen in, mo in a moment and whatnot. Some of them actually use days. Maybe they have been able to experience those and took that with them. And now they're able to perceive a physical full day. But just as bad as we want to perceive that dimension or that frequency, that vibration, they're saying here on vibrations that some of them aren't able to perceive. You know? Just as bad as we want to perceive them and their reality right now or their awareness right now you'll never have full awareness until you merge back with source fully and so it's fun to be on this reality this dimension because we can experience things that you normally wouldn't be able to experience I mean, some people are afraid to die still, you know? <laughs> that sounds silly you now, but man, come on now. Come on. This is a beautiful gift that we've been given to be able to come down here. It's been tough. It's hard. This reality is hard. Illusion, separation duality you know I mean there's things that are tagged along with this such as the Pandora box you know when she opened good she opened bad so I mean to be able to experience good and bad you know be able to say something is good or bad <laughs> it's been fun right to be able to have illusion, you know. <laughs> we don't go to magic shows, you know, <laughs> for no reason. So I would just like to, um, right now with everyone listening, being able to add their energy, let's just send out, like, the most highest vibrations of gratitude gratitude for all that we've been able to experience here gratitude for life gratitude for the breath we're gracious for all the gifts that you have given us source God the bright light <laughs> it's gonna be good being able to uh, ascend to be able to get closer to you to be able to feel that love on that vibration thank you so much for that thank you so much for love on any vibration thank you for experience on any vibration thank you for the trains and the noises hmm I always love hearing trains and they're actually always around they're in my podcast quite often and there's a thing about trains that I connect with very deeply um they've always been in my childhood my grandpa who I looked up to more than anyone he was definitely my role model you know someone I I looked up to and had respect for and learned from him uh by watching him and admiring all that he did 
he was a train engineer and he passed away a few years ago and every time I hear a train or see a train come and I feel his energy abundantly during that time and I, he always comes into my head and I can feel his love I can feel his vibration and so sometimes you'll hear the train of a podcast and I feel like that's my grandpa. You hear the horn and it's like my grandpa is saying something. But he was a very, he was a man of few words. So there's only a few train horns. There's only a few words for my grandpa. But they're always wise. Hmm. <laughs> So the last few days I have been expanding my consciousness and awareness to a whole nother level. My third eye is so wide open and I am aware of that and I can put that into language. I can conceive that. That's amazing. I could feel my third eye opening. I could feel my consciousness expanding. I can feel myself evolving. Mm -hmm. uh, the last few days, my dreams have been quite intense as well. Uh, one night, I'll say about two nights ago, I was running around from these dark energies. I wouldn't say I was scared. I wasn't scared, but I was still like running from it, you know, I was running from these dark energies. And so I think they finally caught up with me. It's really hazy still, but, well now, but, <laughs> but, at the end, I, I, sh I don't know what I did, I, sent energy to them and I watched as their physical bodies began filling up with this magnificent rainbow it wasn't just the solid colors it, I mean it was faded and there's many more colors than red Orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, before that indigo, <laughs> um, they weren't that solid. I want, I mean, it's hard to describe now because, <laughs> you know, I'm here. The colors were just something that you can't see. on the physical dimension <laughs> in this matrix or at least that I can see um, but in my dream it was magnificent so beautiful and their whole bodies were filled with these rainbows and they were straight back and just wide open and kind of shocked at everything and their whole body filled with these rainbows there's like six or seven of them and I saw little galaxies and universes and planets all throughout their body <laughs> um, and it was to me thinking about it now it's like transmuting these dark energies into beautiful rainbows <laughs> and seeing the true beauty in everything you know and not being fearful of anything because fear does not serve me any longer and I choose to not be afraid because I know 
the truth that the universe does not end and my experience will not end. I'm not just gonna go up to heaven and that's it. I'm not just gonna go to hell because I'm not gonna go to that vibration. I've been close at one point. I think pretty much everyone has. And it's a tough vibration to exist on, I, I tell you. Very tough. The next dream I had was about... Oh, <laughs> sorry for the wind. Um, I'm outside right now, as you can tell. The next dream I had was about this turtle. And this turtle was on my shoulder. It was a little tiny uh, baby turtle. And I was walking around feeding him. Nom 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 nom. He ate a lot. Anyway. And excuse me, I was about to go to school. I was about to get on a bus, but then for some reason in my dream I didn't have to, and I was pretty excited about it. And I had these shoes with me that were pretty much giant, like buds that were about to flower, and they were giant. They were about as big as my feet. And I was going to wear them as shoes because I wasn't wearing any shoes at the time. And I heard that I didn't have to go to school, so I was pretty happy. And I knew that I could put the shoes down like I had to wear them for school or something. So I put these buds down. <sighs> um, and then I talked to my friend. It was actually one of my old friends from high school. And he morphed into a different kid from my high school that I talked to and and then I walked away from that for some reason um, but I ended up having to like go to the school or something and I got like soaked with water and people were saying something and they talked about like these uh, these gang colors like bandanas um, I went to work at a greenhouse today and actually one of the ladies was talking about uh, bandanas and talking about like two different gangs from them um, and the day before that I talked to my friend about the Backstreet Boys and uh, listening to them for the first time and um, the kid that I did that was actually the one in the dream so, these dreams are containing past and future and the moment because the <laughs> that's, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not going to go there because I don't know too much about it. Ooh, buddy. So, thank you all for listening to this chat. Uh, it's about 23 minutes right now. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you have a lot of amazing videos to watch, like from uh, Alora Snow or Zenora Saluta. Or I was actually listening to this uh, new channel I subscribed to. I think her name was Sedina, if I'm saying that right. I just watched one of her videos. She did a healing for Alora and included the collective... Um, I listened to it, and uh, sh she's a very beautiful, pure energy, and she has a lot of healing ability. It's easy to see that just from her smile alone. And then she did meditation with really beautiful music, and you know, it was very, it was a very good cleansing meditation even though she didn't talk in it she just um it's, i'm not quite sure exactly what everyone else calls them uh meditation poses i'm sure you could figure out from that doing really amazing meditation poses uh if you meditate a lot then you know what it's like to 
have different poses. They do bring different energy, definitely. <laughs> uh, I was just listening to her, so I mean, there's plenty of good YouTube videos on right now. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, this is the Eternal Tribe podcast. Uh, I'm doing this just to speak truth. That's it. If anybody gets awareness from it, that is beautiful. If anybody gets inspired by, I don't know why I'm saying that, but you know what I mean. These are just fun to do. And I like to do it. It's really fun. And it's good to get out, you know, your words. It's good to speak out. And so that's why I'm that's why I'm doing this, and that's why I like doing this. Uh, you know, like with Ashton, he he doesn't get a whole lot of chances to speak that ultimate truth, just like a lot of people. Somebody, some people in the world um, right now are experiencing um, their own energy, but nobody to to get on that level with them. Uh, so, I think these are definitely going to help out for me and anybody interview, maybe people listening, if you want to uh, join the show and talk about something uh, with me, just uh, give me a call at 269-993-9898. That's 269-993. 9939892 go ahead give me a call and uh have you on the show if you'd like i mean i'm down for that i was looking for new guests um have a few guests that i have in mind right now and so look out for a, a message or a call from me see Lamont, and we'll get you on oh yeah okay i don't know why i said oh yeah like that, but I'm not gonna worry about it, okay? Because I don't do that anymore. <laughs> uh, everybody, have a good night and keep the vibes up. It's gonna get intense. <laughs> it already has, but I mean, <laughs> it's gonna get intense, so hold on. It's going to be a beautiful ride. And thank you all for sharing this ride with me very much. <laughs> Go eat some cereal. Almond milk. N have some almond milk. It's good for you. This is the Eternal Trap Podcast, and I am your host, Sila Mom. Stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the night.